Well, thank you, Madam Chair. Nice to see you and uh, Co-Chair Austin, Rankin members Howard and Champagne, all the members of the committee. It's uh, great to be here again. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of uh, two bills. Uh, the first one is uh, HB 5173. I'm in very strong support of an act allowing a personal income tax deduction for stipends paid to our volunteer fighter fighters and volunteer ambulance members. I have filed um, written testimony uh, for the record, and I'm also here in strong support and testifying on behalf of the House Republican Caucus on HB 5178, and this is an act expanding the crisis initiative throughout the state. Um, as we all are aware, uh, we found that our state and country has been plagued by a terrible uh, opioid epidemic over the past several years. We have hit record highs, unfortunately, uh, recently in the last couple of years with overdoses. Um, however, there's been a beautiful pilot program that started in uh, my hometown of Griswold and it became a um, pilot program in State Police Troop E. Um, and that's called the uh, Crisis Crisis Pilot Program. Um, it provides um, crisis inter intervention trainings, CIT training, for uh, state police, so law enforcement. There's also a clinician that's embedded right inside the uh, police troop. Many uh, local departments have latched on. This brings together our mental health and law enforcement communities. And just um, recently, uh, in July, um, the, the legislature uh, helped uh, in a very bipartisan way to expand um, this program into the Troop D region. And with me is uh, a lady that's really helped launch this and get this into Troop D, who can fill us all in on some of the details on the strides that have been made up there already in the short period that it's been expanded. And that's uh, Diane Manning, who is the president and CEO of United Services. Again, the uh, local health authority that provides a clinician. 